So, you want to start powerlifting? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from complete novice, like I did, to on the platform. I've even taken clients squatting in studios with studio barbells to on the platform, squatting over 140 kilos. If you're looking for answers how to start your powerlifting journey, you're in the right place. So you're in the gym, you already strength train, you're quite strong, and you want to take that to the next level. Powerlifting is perfect for that. We just need to make sure first you have the correct foundations and the knowledge so when you do step out on the platform, it's the best experience that you can have. And personally, one of my favorite things about powerlifting is it doesn't matter on your physique, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, it doesn't discriminate. If you can lift more than the next person in your weight category, you've won. But first, let's rewind a little bit and tell you what you need to do first. The most important, hence why it's step one, is to have a plan. If you go into this half-heartedly and just do the guesswork and just do anything willy-nilly in the gym, expecting to get results, expecting to grow, it's not gonna go well. Having a plan can take the thinking out of it for you and make sure you get the best out of your training possible. With that plan, you need a gym membership. Obviously those that have good equipment and that don't mind you lifting some heavy stuff. Step number two is realistically have a timeline. When do you want to compete in a competition? Is it in a month's time? Is it in six months time? Is it next year? Have an idea on when you'd like to compete and that makes the whole process so much easier. Just know the biggest mistake that people do have is thinking they're not strong enough, is thinking they're not ready. Trust me, if I had that thought process when I entered my first competition, I would never be ready. I was training through COVID, I was training in my mum's shed. I was damn ready. And trust me, if I had a pound for every time someone said, I wanna wait until I'm ready, then I'd be able to afford some new gym kit. You're ready when you know the rules and you can lift the barbell to the standard. And don't forget, your first time, you won't be that competitive. It's experience you need. Anyway, I digress. Step three, and this is one that I would say to my younger self when I first started powerlifting is have a mentor, have a coach to guide you through the process. You need everything from your nutritional help. You need everything from your game day handling, your game day plan to make sure you get the best experience possible. So when you do compete, you want to do it again. If you have a bad experience, then you're probably going to want to hang up your knee sleeves and never try again. So do your research in terms of a good coach. What a good coach would offer you is a program that changes either intensity, numbers, or at least periodize your training, as well as teach you everything along the way on the powerlifting. There's a reason why my client, Anna for example, went from squatting in pure gym studios with studio barbells, trying to hide away from the crowd, to stepping on the platform, absolutely owning it, squatting over 140 kilos, and her knowledge has improved exponentially in the sport. And that was just inside a year. So if you're thinking that it's impossible or out of reach, or it just seems scary, because let's be honest, it can seem scary, and all you've got to do is start. One of the best things I love about powerlifting is it's got an amazing community behind it. It doesn't matter if you're squatting 50 kilos or 200 kilos, everyone cheers you on and everyone wants the best for you. You've only got to go to a competition to know that everyone screams everyone's names and they want the best for you. Which brings you on to my final point, is go to a competition, know how they run and know what the standards are in terms with a powerlifting meet. I'll never forget when my client went to her first powerlifting competition. After watching it, she was hooked. The adrenaline, the buzz, and the community makes training so, so much worth it. So, just to close, if you think you're not ready for your first powerlifting competition, but you're kind of strong, then get out your own head, follow the process, surround yourself with the right people, and get yourself out there and enter. And if you liked today's video, stick around. There's gonna be so much more.